I'm going to show you how to make and save your own audio presets using Premiere Pro. Having to make adjustments to the audio every time you edit a video can be very, very, very time consuming. Everybody knows how easy it is to make and save presets for video effects, but I wondered if you could do the same for audio effects. I soon realized it wasn't so straightforward. Every time I tried to click save as preset, that little bit would be grayed out and I thought, how am I going to do this then? So I took to YouTube to see if I could find a tutorial on how to do it, but nothing. I even looked on forums, there were people asking the same questions as me, but with no answers, and I couldn't find anything. I realised I had to do it the old fashioned way and just spend time figuring it out for myself. And I'm glad I did though, because eventually I figured out how to make my own presets and save them. And I thought if I was looking for this information, lots more people would be wanting this too. So this is why I'm making this video to show you how to make your own presets sets within Premiere Pro so that you can free up time and focus on the visuals. Make sure that you watch to the end of the video so you don't miss anything and make sure you subscribe for tutorials and gear reviews. Now to save you even more time, I've created a whole audio preset pack so that you don't even have to go and spend any time creating all the presets yourself. Simply download from my website and import into the effects tab in Premiere Pro. Simple as that. And because I'm feeling extra generous, I've included a coupon code down below in the description for 10% off of the full pack. And I'm giving away the podcast preset pack free. So go and check them out. The links are down below in the description. Right then, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how to do this. I love Canon. This is my old Canon because the Sony has been sold and I'm waiting for the EOS R to come. Uh, so I'm on the old Canon at the minute. I just love how quickly it focuses on my face. Look at that, instant. Instant. Love it. So yeah, quality is not going to be as good, but I needed to get this video done. So bear with me for one video. So the first thing you want to do is open Premiere Pro, obviously. Import your clips, so just drag it down into the timeline like I've done here. Before I create the preset, what I like to do is set an in and out point and put it on a loop so that the audio is just continuously going round and I can make adjustments without having to scrub through the audio all the time and keep playing it. So I just find a sentence that I want to repeat, press I for my in point and this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. And then I set the out point by pressing the O key. And then if you've got this set up, I press L to loop the playback. But to start with, you might have to add this to your program window. So you come over here, click the button editor, it's this little plus symbol here, loop playback, just drag that loop playback onto the window here, click OK, and that's on there. And I've set it up so that my L key um, is loop playback. So when I press L on the keyboard, it toggles that loop playback on and off. So now when I press Enter. Sorry, now when I press spacebar, it loops playback. It kind of sounds like a radio, and this is what a typical podcast. There you go, looping the playback. So I can keep that running in the background and make all my audio adjustments while that's on a continuous loop. The way I tried it to start with was to go onto Audio Track Mixer, open this little effect window here, and then add the presets in that you want, make your adjustments, and then try and save this as a preset. But that didn't work, so don't, don't try that. I'll show you what to do instead. Click on the clip that you want to add the effects to. Make sure you're on effects controls up here. And then I go over to effects here and type in noise and it's denoise. So I'm just gonna drag this onto our, our clip here. And as you can see, it comes over into our audio effect controls here. And when we click edit, that opens up our editing window. Now already this denoiser has 40% denoise, so we want to adjust that ourselves. So I'll put it back to zero and then turn it down gradually to what we need. I'm just gonna put my headphones on to do this. It's a bit more accurate, then we'll check it with the speakers after. There's not much noise in this example anyway, because obviously I'm inside and I'm nice and close to the microphone, but just turning that down a smidge just cleans it up slightly. I'll just play it back so you can hear with and without. 
nice and close. That kind of sounds like a radio. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything. Yeah, it just cleans it up slightly. It just gets rid of some of those reflections bouncing off the walls. And that's all I do for this step. So I can close that window now. Second thing that I would add is compression. So go over to the effects search bar again, type in compress and single band compressor. Open the edit window again. I'm not going to talk about how compression works in EQ or anything like that. I just want to show you how to do this. So this is just a quick video. If you want me to, I can do another video explaining all about compression and equalization as well in another video. Comment down below if that's what you want me to do and I'll get started on that video as soon as possible. But for now, I'm just going to stick to just a little quick tutorial of the adjustments I would make. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything, any external noise from anything else. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything, any external noise from anything else. Okay, so that's my compression done. Pretty happy with that. Um, you will probably find that when you add compression, some people like to add EQ before compression, some people like compression then EQ. But I do it this way, having the compression on highlights certain frequencies. So then I put the equalizer on afterwards and I dial that in then. So that's the way I like to do it. So equalizer, graphic equalizer. I like to go for 20 bands. Uh, it just gives you a bit more options without being overwhelming with the 30 bands. So. 20 band graphic equalizer, drag that in, open the parameters, and here we go. What I'm listening for here is any unwanted frequencies. So I just go through, boost the frequency to hear what that sounds like. And then if I like it, then I'll keep it in there. If I don't like it, I'll drop it down to get rid of it. So you'll see what I mean. So here's the before and after, here's before. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything, any external noise from anything else. And after. And this is what a typical podcast setup would sound like. I've got the microphone nice and close, so it's hardly picking up anything, any external noise from anything else. So as you can hear now, nice and crisp and clear. Close that window. So what I was doing before was trying to select all these and it wasn't working and also right clicking in this bit here, trying to save preset, but as you can see, it's it's grayed out. So you select all of your effects that you've added by pressing command and click on each one and select them all. Right click, save preset. And it brings up this little window here and let's call this one SH Podcast Audio Preset Mail. Two, for example and give it a description so podcast mail this just describes what it is so you come to using it in the future you know it describes that preset that you've made so compressed so okay and then that gets saved here into presets so if you come over here into the effects window and open presets you'll see that it's here look SH podcast audio preset mail two. There it is. So when we open, let's drag this clip in here. And as you can see, no effects on it whatsoever at the moment. So all we do is click and drag our preset over to there and it is done. Done. So then when you want to save these presets, you right click on the preset, click export presets. So let's save it as, give it a name mail to example save when you're looking for your files there it is there's your preset let's uh just to show you let's get rid of this so we'll delete that so our preset has gone out of premiere pro when you want to import your preset all you do is right click in fact you could go up to these three lines here click there click import presets or right click anywhere in the preset effects tab import presets and then go to your file where you've saved it and then open and then it appears in there and then you drag it in so that is it so that is it super I mean, take these off so that's it really super easy to 
make your own presets and save them, import them. I really hope this helps you uh, and saves you some time as well. Let me know if you've got any questions and also let me know if you want me to make an audio video as well. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Uh, drop us a comment below and give me your thoughts. I'd love to hear how you're using these as well. So if, if you do go and purchase the pack from my website, please let me know how you're using them. Send me a link to your video as well where you have used them so I can hear what it sounds like for you. I really hope it helps. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to get more gear reviews and tutorials like this one. Share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.